Count forwards and backwards to cross zero. If we consider the middle of this line to be zero, we want to count forward in whole numbers. The next point which we'd include in our counting is one, followed by two, followed by three, followed by four. We could continue doing this. We're not going to for now because we're interested in counting across zero. So zero, one less than zero is minus one. One less than minus one is minus two. One less than minus two is minus three. And one less than minus three is minus four. So if we're going to count forwards, starting with the least number and finishing with the greatest number, our counting would sound as follows. It would go minus four, minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three, four. If we want to think about counting using decimals, we'll draw ourselves a new number line. Middle. And we'll keep zero about in the middle of our number line. We'll use decimals and we'll go up in uh, 0 0.25 intervals. So we've got zero in the middle and then 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 1. 0, point, no, 0 less 0 0.25 or the point on the number line that's 0 0.25 less than 0 is minus 0 0.25 and then it kind of mirrors the numbers above 0 so then we've got minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.75 and minus one. So if we're counting across zero, again we've got least to greatest. We start with the lowest number included on the bottom number line. We've got minus one, minus 0 0.75, minus 0 0.5, minus 0 0.25, zero, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, and then one. And that's how you count forwards uh, and backwards across zero. So really quickly, we're interested in counting backwards, so we're counting down from the greatest number to the least. On the top number line, we've got four, three, two, one, zero, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, with um, one integer value space between, uh, or one integer value intervals between each point on the number line. And then using our example of decimals, counting backwards across zero would be one, 0 0.75, 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0, minus 0 0.25, minus 0 0.5, minus 0 0.75, and then minus 1. So that's how you count forwards and count backwards across 0.